Hey, everybody, welcome back. It's episode three of Vibin'. Um, last night we got um, Asta in our group. Hello, how can I help you? Um, I'd like to learn about the this space is station. Herta's space station. As you might tell from its name, it belongs to the distinguished Madame Herta herself. Mm hmm. Let me just turn Herta's on. Herta's space station was originally built as a warehouse for rare items and relics. But Madame Herta also allowed her followers to oversee tasks and conduct research, then gradually turned into a scientific research base. The storage zone you pass through contains all our inventory and is the main research center. The master control zone where we are now is the control center of the whole space station. It is said that the space station also contains Madame Herta's private chamber, where her most precious, rare, and dangerous collections are sealed. And for someone like her, it's not out of the realm of possibility. And interesting Even to me for that me, the lead researcher. There are many things she keeps secret. I love that they're just telling this to a stranger. Um, I think it's interesting that it's they just say Madame Herta's followers, so it's like, is there a bit of like a like a cult of personality with these genius people? Are they like mini gods? I'd like to learn about you. I'm lead researcher of Herta Space Station. But honestly, I'm more like Madame Herta's housekeeper of this place. Madame Herta is a genius, but managing disparate staff, tactfully representing the space station before the Intelligentsia Guild, these are all things beyond her abilities. But as it turns out, they are my forte. <laughs> Scholars are a lot easier to deal with than those vociferous old geezers back home. No matter how much they drone on about astronomy is just about looking at things that doesn't bring any real value, they all fall silent in front of Madame Herta. Also, no matter the problem, you just needed to say that it was Madame Herta's wishes and all would be fine. After all, Herta herself is a symbol of wisdom. I feel like astronomy, like when you live in space, astronomy is more than just looking at things, right? <laughs> That's a really bizarre perspective. <laughs> then, thanks to her, I can count the stars to sleep. Otherwise, I would have had to inherit the family fortune, and ugh, just thinking about it terrifies me. No. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> that's such a weird perspective. <gasps> Otherwise, ugh, my life would have been so hard inheriting a fortune. Ugh. <laughs> Arlen went to dress his wounds at the rest area. He knows himself well, but if he insists on pushing his limits, I'll give him a good earful. I'm very upset he didn't obey my orders and insisted on searching the storage zone, even though everyone had already evacuated. I know he didn't want to leave any researchers behind. The security department is more than just a job to him. But Arlen doesn't care about getting hurt. He only cares about protecting others. It's the only way he feels fulfilled. Oh, okay. And Again, too much to say to a stranger. Where he's coming from. I just want him to look out for himself too. <laughs> Tell me some more about Herta while I'm here. Herta. She's a member of the Genius Society. Yeah, got that. One of the proud favorites of the Eon of Erudition. Oh. Ever since the birth of Noose, there have only been 84 people admitted into the Genius Society. That is why Madame Herta is extremely headstrong. She only pursues what interests her, and as soon as that interest is lost, she abandons it and moves on. The space station was one such abandoned interest. Anyway, I lent out one of her manuscripts as a resource reference not long ago. It should still be in the master control zone. You can take a look if you wish. Okay, cheers. Thank you for answering my questions. Uh, chatting with you seems to have lightened my mood. It seems like talking can really raise one's spirits. Uh-huh. That's nice. All right. I'm just going to have a quick look around, see if there's anything I can 
I can't. L a space plant. Some space plants, you've never seen them before, but they feel familiar. Okay. I'll leave the reassurance of the researchers in your hands. Can I? If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. Cool. If only I caught the Antimatter Legion sooner. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. I feel a little bit like this writing... It's giving me Persona vibes. It's quite, like... Like, <laughs> yeah. There were a few researchers who didn't make it. The rest are fine, mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family, owners of a big company. She was kind to me, though. When she went to the space station, I followed her. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. Okay, so Alan and Esther have known each other since before they worked on this station. Sorry, I'm just, um... Dealing with today's smoothie, which is a lot less terrifying than yesterday's smoothie. Don't worry, everybody. I actually didn't end up eating yesterday's sludge because it was <laughs> it was too much like eating an object than drinking a drink. Anyway, um, I'll leave you to get some rest. I hope all this chaos will end soon. Yeah, sure. I don't. I want fun stuff to happen. Oh. What what are these? Arrows. The following effects only Oh oh it's a um It's a Oh, so these are for my current team. Level up and ascension can both massively boost all stats for the light cone, making the wearer even more powerful. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You level them up. Um, team. So she's preservation. He's the hunt. She's erudition, but she's already got one. And she's harmony. Okay, okay. So let's light cone it up. Um, I've already forgotten what everybody is. Oh, it tells me that's helpful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, after entering battle, it increases the attack of all allies. All allies by 8%. Effects of the same type can't stack. Equip. Path of the Hunt. At the start of battle, the wearer's crit rate increases by 12% for three turns. Okay. I'm not going to remember all this shit, but whatever. Increases the wearer's defense by 16%. If the wearer's current HP is lower than 50%, decrease increases the defense by a further 16%. Nice. Cool. So, can I enhance mine? Do I have any... I need four sparse ethers. Okay. Cool. Search for other researchers who need help. Well, there's somebody down here who... Let's listen to the senior insight staff. That's right. That's right. 
The resentful spirit's senseless obsession turns into a, a tangible hand, and the shadow of the old disaster will conceal the heavens. What? That's exactly what was written on the mystic scroll of eons. It refers to the followers of Nanook, the destruction, using antimatter to create a galactic weapon of war. I didn't think I'd be fortunate enough to witness... <laughs> Oh, okay. Have you also come to witness the power and miracle of the eons? Then go over there. There's a good spot right there. Beware of any interferences from your mortal body when observing. You must seize every detail. When an eon appears, even the tiniest trace must not be missed. <laughs> uh, is she going a bit loopy? You see that, Sheila? History always repeats itself. History? Gun, this is the first time I have witnessed the space station in such disarray. Oh, Sheila. When we face another dire crisis like this, if you're able to rescue your home planet, will you come back and save us? Home planet? My home planet? I do not understand what you are saying. Never mind. If Sheila could hear this, she'd understand. Well, that's a bit strange. Space Anchor. We're all at max health. What do you need? Hinkle? Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I got the wrong person. I can help. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. Okay. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. Okay. Our pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. I don't remember what any of those it's are already. It's quite a bit to remember. You got everything? No, I don't. Let me, where's my gaming book? <laughs> I bet they'll tell me when it's happening, but just in case they're dicks and don't, let's get out the gaming book. Any serious gamer has to have a gaming book. Whether I have a pen within reach, that's that's a whole different question. Here we go, I see a pencil. I see a pencil. Up, down. Can you repeat that for me? Don't worry, I'll go over it again. The controls are up for the spectrometer, Spec down for the filter, left filter. for the reference level, and right for the attenuator. Ref level. Attenuator. The pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. Okay, so it goes up, right, down. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Right Wonderful. down. Thank you. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Abraham was close to him. Uh, I don't know how to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. Hello. Okay. Sorry. I realize I should have had my smoothie before I started gaming, but I got very limited time today. Again. Again. Um, all right, let's go find this other person. We researchers have all taken refuge here. But has anyone given any thought to the non-human life on this space station? 
They may be part of the rare item collection, but are they not also living things? Don't their rights deserve to be protected? What, what are they? Yes, non-human life. Living creatures that aren't human. What are they? Some of which have been collected as rare items and housed in the space station. Most of the researchers disregard their basic rights. Even now, with death staring them in the face, they still refuse to open their minds. And I, Lukash, outstanding researcher of the Herta Department of Galactic Geopolitics, must awaken those pretending to sleep. If you are interested in joining the cause, please stand by my side and repeat after me. Protect rare item rights. Save non-human life. All together, protect rare item rights. <laughs> you did well, friend. Follow my rhythm and protect rare item rights. Okay. Do... I mean, am I a rare item? Where did my body come from? I don't know. But I also think that... I'm not reading that right now. I'll, I'll read a bunch of stuff at the end of this episode, okay? So people who are impatient can... Um, not worry about them. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I think that items are. I just. I, I was distracted by the war bubble. Lo, la, 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 la. On the surface, this book is no different than any other, but upon closer examination, you will find it is surrounded by a layer of stellar light, as if imbued with a hidden spell. The encyclopedic information on Wu Ba Wu Ba Bu Wu Ba Bu is recorded on the open page of the book. You can turn the page with your hand, but the content will always remain the same. It's almost like flipping through a book of sifting sand. It seems that you need some sort of authorization to view the other content, some sort of key. Galactic Species Serial Number Spiritual 415. Species. Wubabu. 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 I have dyslexia, okay? Uh, galaxy nickname. Nickname. Woobab, woob, woob, woobab, woob, woobab, woobab, jinx, mischievous astral spirit, category, kingdom spiritual organism, class, astral spirit, order, shapeless, family, spirit essence, and species, heliobus. Research summary. Spiritual organisms, represented by astral spirits, can be traced back to the recorded beginnings of the Amber Era. This Amber Era? The Leviathan's conception theory believes that some elder Leviathans were run aground after the Dusk Wars. During the lengthy slumber, the decomposed cells became the seedbed for organic organisms, and their dissipating life forms became wandering astral spirits. However, more and more scholars have begun to publicly denounce the Leviathan's conception theory in recent years. Other nascent theories are not included here. In the beginning, the astral spirits did not possess individual wills, and all they did was float and wander aimlessly in the galaxy. During the trailblaze, as the nameless travelled between the galaxy, the astral spirits became allured by the human's freedom of travel. The mortal beings possessing the strong emotions of love and lust made a strong impact on the barren core of the astral spirits. Humans have become the most desirable hosts for astral spirits. The astral spirits would follow the scent of emotions and find their prey, possess the body, and turn the host into a mindless walking corpse. What? Hosts that aren't able to fuse with the astral spirits will die on the spot. A verified case of a nameless spirit named Erwin Hessler became possessed of a nameless... Nameless, named Erwin Hessler, okay, became possessed by an astral spirit and managed to form a symbiotic relationship with it. Those possessed by astral spirits and ended in tragedy are lost as time goes on. Afterwards, these types of spiritual organisms hid and blended into human society. Their exceptional abilities to sense emotion and control people's hearts and mind are feared by many. 
Wubabus have inherited the abilities of their astral spirit ancestors, but are not as deadly. On their own, Wubabus enjoy scaring people and appear as ghostly, semi-transparent shifting forms. After attaching itself to a host, the personality of the host will change dramatically, and the behaviour will be completely altered. After committing a series of pranks, the host will regain consciousness. If the brutal acts of astral spirits are for the purpose of possession and evolution, then Wubabu's remote, uh, roaming would purely be for fun. That's right, they go around being mischievous for no specific reason and would leave after they get bored. The ruckus would end and the host would return to normal, but the damages caused along the way cannot be salvaged. According to the space station Adler's tier system, Wubabu falls under the medium containment level. Although it does not pose a deadly threat, it does have the potential to cause a lot of trouble and should be kept from breaking loose. These are actually quite interesting, so. Oh, this is the guy whose friend is leave. dead. I need to run from this forsaken. No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday, I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Look! The obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857. I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. Life is but a path to death, but not today. How insightful. Yes, of course. The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. I'm glad that helped. New feature available, travel log. Participate in various events to obtain corresponding rewards. Uh-huh. Events! Oh! I get candy! Awesome! What do I have to do to get this? Oh, this is just for leveling up? These are, these are quests? Oh, you get the, you get the characters? How do I do the quest? Trailblazers can attain rewards by completing certain missions during event. Complete certain missions or fulfill certain conditions to obtain event rewards. The rewards will be distributed automatically. Trailblazers can also obtain Trailblaze level rewards from Pom Pom after increasing their Trailblaze level. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is just like who's on the banner at the moment. I'm not going to get into this because I feel like I'm... I'm still really new and after reaching trail base level 21 clear forgotten hall memory stage 3 to obtain the character ching q okay cool um Cool. I just want to pop up here, see if there's anything for me to pick up. Let's listen to this lady. Emily, calm down and think about what she would do in such a disaster. Ten cups of coffee, a pill, or maybe hide in a room full of mystic scrolls of eons. Oh, that's bitter coffee. <coughs> so bitter. Too dang bitter! Oh, sis, where are you? I'm 
I'm so scared. Aww. That's really sad. What? A pair of trash cans with an unusual sorting method. Whether or not trash is digestible by noblest worms. Okay. Drop your knife. Okay. Okay. Let's hurry up with the quest. Okay. Are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you. That's the Doomsday Beast. The Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. But we can't just run away like this, right? Hmm. The Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take her with us. What about everyone hmm. else? She's that important? She's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course, I may be wrong. Hmm, as you say so. All right, what should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. And we're just- Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... What the heck is the Destruction's Emanator? Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. Fine. Okay, so there's a baddie over there. Let's just um, chop this in half. Uh, we don't need my starter ability, but starter ability of my friend here, Freeze. I think would be useful. Himiko can launch follower ta up attacks during battle. Every time an ally affects weakness, inflicts weakness break, Himiko accumulates charge. Cool. Um, anybody weak against my friend here? Yeah. Um, let's create a defense. For... With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. <laughs> you can't run. 
Time for a detailed overhaul. Okay, so she's fire based. Um, nobody's weak against that, so let's just one at a time. <clears throat> Try that again. We should probably be focusing on just one target. When charge reaches three points, Kimoko will automatically launch a follow-up attack. You won't get away. Oh, awesome. Told you I could fight. Um yeah, you can attack that main guy. Oh, it wasn't enough. I imagine you I'll get a lot run. faster as time goes Combat by. Combat a series of precise machinations. You can, you can blast. I don't know what's involved in your blast, but you can do it. Nice. Uh, We're okay. Again. Also, there's a thing right next to us, so we can heal up after this fight. Um... Chop him in half. Batter up. You couldn't have done it without me. I mean, we would have actually been fine, but you know, what ifs? Uh, let's let's have Himiko out because we're not going to have her permanently. <laughs> So, um, I wonder what her, what her, what's her ability? Her technique? What is it? After using a technique creates dimension that lasts for 15 seconds. After ending battle with this, oh, sorry. Enemies are, after entering battle with enemies in the dimension, there is a 100% base chance to increase fire damage taken by enemies by 10% for two turns. Only one dimension created by allies can exist at the same time. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. I like your outfit. Some baddies over there. I hope we'll get to go back to where that chest was from earlier. Cause that uh, the exit's over there. How do we get to it? Um Pardon me. Find a way to leave the spare parts warehouse. Well, I'm just gonna keep following the yellow brick road. Away. Incomplete conclusion. I don't know what that means. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. Um, you can use your shield, please, on yourself. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. Who's weak to... You can't run! Ooh. Combat is a series of precise machinations. It doesn't make a lot of sense to hang on to. Um, you won't get away. Your ultimates, because they're just going to build up again, I could fight. right? So let's use ginger teas. Are made to be broken. 
And we won't use the single target one this time. We'll use the everybody target one. My turn. <clears throat> Gee, that's better <laughs> pathetic. Now, I'm just noting that there were four skill points at the end of that, so... Um, we didn't even get hurt at all. Ha ha ha. Hang on. Chop stuff in half first and open treasure chests. This is also the reward of trailblazing. Oh, I've got those um Okay. A repulsion bridge can either be orange or blue. Using the control device to change the active bridge will lead you to unexpected destinations. Only one colour can be turned on at a given time. When the switch on the control device lights up, the repulsion bridge of the same colour will appear. Okay. So we just turned on the blue bridge. Hmm. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Makes sense. Is there anything cool? Okay, I can't fall down there. Burn away. Oh, everybody's got fire vulnerability. Hang on. I have no interest in stoking cars. Perhaps you still don't understand. What does she do? A big old he AOA. It conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Um, that was amazing. <laughs> that was awesome. This is also the reward of trailblazing. Um, so I'd say we're getting the this game's equivalent of primos just from treasure. Um We got a yeah, we got two orange ones. Does one of these poor people have a mask? Oh, it's just a mask. I thought they had like things wrapped around their mouth. Um, oh, so these are like cones and these are actual characters. Um, so are the, these are regular, so they're permanent, whereas these are events. So let's try our luck. So it's two. We've got two. Oh, we got a purple something. No, it's just blue. Um, amber. Don't know what that is. How do we skip this? Void. Okay. Cool. We do have enough star, whatever it's called, to get another one. Confirm. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm learning. Doesn't matter this early in the game. So it's three. So we need another seven to definitely get something. I wish there wouldn't be purple like that. Automatically. Darting arrow. So are these... Are these all... These light cone thingies? Is that... Is that what we just got? Yes. The hunt, nihility, and preservation. So if I switch to... One of these guys. Oh, she already had Amber on. Yeah? 
We just got another one. So it's exactly the same. Um, so this one gives him increased crit rate for the first three turns. And this one gives increased attack for three turns after defeating an enemy. Mm. I think I'll keep on the one that I've got. And what were the other ones that we got? Nihility. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's all good. It's all good. Learning. Learning through doing. Oh, hello. So she doesn't have any... None of us have any technique stuff at the moment. But we can get it from this thing. <laughs> um, should we do Himeko's again just because that was fun? Yeah, let's do Himeko's again. Practice target. Oh, he's level 11! What does it say? While exploring, you may encounter powerful enemies. Defeat them to win powerful, bountiful rewards. Okay! Oh, yeah. Okay. Move carefully. Um, yeah, okay. So we don't don't have four skill points at this point. So we must have um the truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Right. That did not do very much damage to him. The time is now. Uh, yeah, you can use yours as well. You try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> My turn. Uh, you can attack this guy. Who's weak to fire? Which they all should be at the moment, right? Just a scratch. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, defense. On yourself. Stay right there while I give you a present. You won't get away. Nice. Um yeah. Try that again. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Oh, she got entangled. Oh, I'm fucked. Let's go. He's down. Um Rules are made to be broken. Oh, that's good. 
This is our chance. Um. Can I do like use items? No. Okay. Okay. I don't have enough stuff for that. Time for a detailed overhaul. She's recovered. You have the worst luck running into me. Uh. With me out oh, here, shit. how can we lose? Okay, well, it's actually useful. I probably should have protected I don't wanna her. Be alone. Mm. Auto battle. Yeah, okay. What is it? Kind. Shield is just so strong. So this is defeat. Barely felt it. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Actually, oh no, it does do more damage than her. Perhaps you still don't understand. Please kill him! Mm -hmm. never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. I'm gonna get a game over. It shouldn't be possible this early in the game. Light cone levels are too low. Light cone levels can be increased on the character page. So what happens in that scenario? All right, it just um okay. Let's level up our light cones. Enhance. I don't have any stuff. Salvage? Salvage. Confirm. That only gives me one and I need confused about how I'm supposed to level these up at the moment. Yeah. Level up. Why did that not work? Select. Oh, I do have some. Yeah, now how do I, can I, level up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this interface is weirdly complicated. <laughs> okay, so that leveled up 
uh, what's her name? Enhance. Okay, that was a pretty good level up as these things go. Um, go back to Dan, Dan. Um, oh, I don't even have her in my party right now. I wonder if I should swap her out for somebody. These guys are all higher level because I've been using them. Um... Decent increases in stats, even though we're just babies, which is nice. He's already level five. Might just level her up, even though she's in the background. Maybe not in the middle of dealing with this fight. Okay. So in terms of light cones, his is level five. Hers is level 7, and hers is level 5. Let's increase hers as well. One more. Level up. It's a lot faster using mouse and keyboard for this section. So 7, 7. Let's enhance his. Okay. So we're all quite a bit stronger. Let's try this fight again. Um, we're not going to walk into it with um, any technique, unfortunately. Oh, I might be able to pull off hers. Huh, crash now or crash Move okay. carefully. This could be better than we're, than. Um, hmm. Stop. Defense. Let's start with. Uh, yeah, Ginger G. Out here, how can we lose? Um... That's cool. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Um. Mm. The time is now. My turn. Let's uh, cast another shield because right that one's almost dealt with. Present. Um. Yeah, let's do a let's do a blast. You won't get away. Oh, nice! Great follow up. Just 
fresh. Try that again. Time for a detailed overhaul. Uh, let's do single target type this guy out. You can't run. Okay, Ginger G is is stall is is um stuck at the moment. You have the worst luck running into me. Let's cast another shield. Uh, yep. With me out here, how can we lose? Try that again. Tank soaking up the damage. This is Come what we want. Of precise machinations. I'm just gonna use uh, this. Try hard sometimes. Yeah. Check out this awesome move. This is so hilariously over the top with the bunnies. Like, what do you need the Time bunnies for? Detailed overhaul. Um. <laughs> okay. Whoop. Do it. Hey, I'm free. Let's go. And I've got my thing, so let's Rules use it. Are made to be broken. I reckon let's do single target because this gu this guy is a bastard. Clemency, never heard of it. Go for it, man. Oh, nice. You won't get away. Oh, nice. I told you I could fight. Yes, you can. Good job. Um, give it to yourself. Right there, will I give you a present? Um, think we'll target. Oh, I probably should have got that guy on the side. Oh, we took wind. Oh, shields back. You're annoying. You can't run. <clears throat> Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Let's make it quick. Okay. Yep. Better up. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. <laughs> the truth of life and death. Revealed in an instant. This sanctuary. It's but a vision. Break. My turn. Uh, do we have enough points for a shield? I reckon let's pop it back on Ginger G. Here, how can we lose? She is our tank a after all. <laughs> You can't run! <clears throat> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Can we skip these? <clears throat> I mean, they're cute the first few times, but they're pretty irritating after that. Uh... Let's go. We're doing a lot better this time <clears throat> than we were last time. You have the worst luck running into me! Right there, while I give you a present. One at a time. Clemency, never heard of it. Oh, nice. Got a crit. You won't get away. Oh, and a thingy. This is our chance. It is our chance. I agree. <laughs> Mm. Mm. There's really no point using um Try that again. her for her single target. Because 
it's just not powerful enough. Let's make it quick. I'm taking a risk. But I think it's worth doing. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, we got some phase flame. Don't know what that is. Oh, and there's a treasure chest behind him. Ooh, yeah. Okay, neat. Oh, and 30 Stellar Jade. How much Jade do I have? Okay, just 30. I got all excited <laughs> for a second there. Um, oh, we've got another one of these. Yeah, go on. Oh, no, we don't. What? Oh, it's at the top. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that was pretty tough. Uh, luckily, there's a health thing here. Let's let's be ginger G for a bit. Um, I wish that was the same button for smashing apart stuff because it's just kind of annoying mentally having to remember which one is which. I love me some basic ingredients. Oh, let's do Himiko. She's cool. Oh, we ha don't have any. All right, well then let's just go up and punch him in the face. You won't get away. Oh, what? Straight away. Cool. Okay, who's got wind weakness? My turn. Sure is. You can defend yourself. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Who's got physical weakness? You do. You can't run. I have something for you. It's called a punch in the face. She'll kill him. Try that again. Nice. Um, let's use Ginger G's thing. Rules are made to be broken. I'm really interested that that's the word. That's what they've um, chosen for her to say. Rules are made to be broken. It's quite a. It's quite a definite no in statement. Stop. You won't get away. It's just one guy with like 10 health. <laughs> okay. Mom Reach the end of the story in your own way. What does Mombaze drill mean? <laughs> okay. Can we, do we have, it's quite hard to pay attention enough to know whether you've got like stuff for leveling up. I feel like um, Dan is not giving a, a lot to the team right now. So I might swap him out for Esther, although she's fire based. What are her skills? Basic attack, deals fire damage. Gains one stack of charging for every different enemy hit by Aster, plus an extra stack if the enemy is hit by his hit if the enemy has fire weakness. For every stack of charging, Aster has all allies' attack increases by seven up to five times. Starting from her second turn, Aster's charging stack count is reduced by three at the beginning of every turn. Okay, interesting.
Immediately attacks the enemy after entering battle deals fire damage equal to 50% of Aster's attack to all enemies. So you'd want to start with that and then follow it up with her... I guess her talent is just passive? Is that correct? Ugh. Oh, I can't decide what I'm supposed to be doing. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! I tried all of the main buttons to see whether I can skip this. You won't get away. Oh, I'm not sure whether. Um... Oh, that was awesome. Um... Yeah. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Go on then. Ah. Chop him in half. You still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Ooh, ooh, okay. Gave everybody half health. Let's just chop somebody. The time's now. I kind of wish you could um Let's who's got the most health? Let's. Oh, actually, she does. So let's use it on her. Right there while I give you a present. It's also interesting. A lot of these guys, I guess, similarly to you can't run. us. You won't get away. Oh. I'm just gonna sit here and let everybody else take care of everything. Oh. Try that again. <clears throat> you could have done it on the guy next to him, and would have been better. This is our chance. Uh, sure is, but it's our chance to do this. Oh, that was so satisfying. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. It's interesting that that guy like saw us and started like coming for us. Anything to pick up? No. Oh, yes. Quick read. But is it ever actually a quick read? Okay, the device screen retains the casual conversation between two researchers during work before the space station was attacked. The level two researcher in the storage zone remains missing at the time of the security department's initiated investigation. Some level two researcher. Hey, sometimes I really feel like I want to quit. Some level four researcher. Is it because that guy's harassing you again? I'll go find him in a few days. Some advanced researchers really are but bullies. No, it's not that simple. Uh, it's not as simple as just one person. Did they bring a group of a uh, group to ostracize you? I hate to think of that of grouping cliques the most. This is no longer just for you. It's involving my principles now. No, it's really not like that, but I really ran out of ideas. I ref if I really can't deal with it, I might be dem demoted to the disposal site. We're brothers, all right? If you run into problems, I will help you, even if I have to make some sacrifices. Oh, that's great. I knew you're different from all the other advanced researchers. It all comes down to not having enough budget to do many of the studies. Trust me, every researcher who's worked at Herta will have faced a problem like yours. I'll be honest, many young researchers wouldn't be able to make it through this issue. 
And you don't have to worry, because I will do my best to help you. There are, uh, these are my experiences. I hope they can help you. I'm paying full attention. Firstly, the most important part we need to maintain our original intention. As a researcher, we reject the idea of forming cliques. Those who seek fame and those who seek knowledge are different to the core. The core of what we do is to distinguish ourselves from external persuasions. Secondly, the ferns. As the saying goes, good wine needs no bush. What? <laughs> If you have the ability, you won't need to worry about the fund's allocation. Let's look at the logic of allocating budget. The more results you contribute, the greater amount of funds you receive. So you just need to produce enough results to solve this issue. Oh, yeah, that's right. Finally, how to obtain results. Beginner researchers would inevitably take the path with more twists and turns. So the best way to look at that is to join a project with an existing framework or two. I told you, I will help you to the best of my abilities. It just so happens that I have a major project passed by the review board. If it succeeds, funds would be the least of your problems. However, there's another group of fame seekers who are trying to rob me of the core researcher title. I don't care about the title naturally, but I didn't expect the results of the selection would have an impact on the progress of the project. I'm already behind on the core research of voting selection, but if we put in some effort to vote, I th might still have a chance. I'll send you a link. It'll automatically recognize your researcher ID so you don't have to log in manually. Are you still there? Uh... Missed call? What the fuck? What the fuck is that all about? <laughs> That's so weird. Trying to like <laughs> get somebody on your. <laughs> oh, we got some level up stuff from that. Um, I'm I'm not reading more right now. In fact, I think I might get I might finish the episode. I don't know how long I've been playing for, but it feels like it's been ages. Um, I might just hang on one second. I'm just gonna check the time. And my little guy. Oh yeah, it's been over an hour. Yeah, cool. Um. I'm gonna stop and um, yeah um, thank you for joining me uh, as always let me know if you want to hear see more hear more I really should do some work but I just want to play more of this uh, I'm really enjoying it even if the story is a little bit daffy like the gameplay is really fun and I'm just kind of like wanting to see what's next in the story so I'm kind of like yeah 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 give me give me more give me more yeah I thought I got more of these level up and again and again yes yeah quickly becomes harder and harder to level up right just like Genshin. If you're here and you haven't played Genshin, it's very similar. It's just fantasy. Uh, obviously the, the fight mechanics are totally different, but it's kind of like, even though Genshin isn't turn-based, it's still kind of similar vibes in, in the sense of like you build your team based on their different strengths and like you equip things that give them different abilities that then make the fight play out in different ways. So yeah. It's a very similar vibe. Anyway, I'm gonna go um, brush my teeth. Nice. And I hope you have brushed your teeth too today. Uh, and on that note, I'll catch you next time.